to another episode of Your TV. I'm Danielle Campbell. And I'm Georgia Miller. This week we had a Senator, Simon Birmingham, Minister for Education and Training, arrived at Yuara College for a quick tour. Escorted around our campus with some of our senior students and school captains, we enjoyed the chance to show him some of our many exciting opportunities we have for our students. From showing a new updated computer literacy center. Yeah, so if you think that you can put an R on the oval. Science block. <laughs> to the new pathways office. We take it by little steps and move further um, with it as they develop their confidence. We always look for employers that are compassionate to our students and that understand the cultural differences. Simulator classrooms. Last year we ran this program uh, for the fellas. Sorry? Oiling it? Yep. Um, these electives are um, designed to give the students um, success. Um, they achieve something, they'll achieve outcomes. <laughs> Boarding space to the Bristol machine where we are teaching students the art of making good coffee. We started the Bristol course uh, this term. Um, Jack here is, is the one running out of risk, of course. What, on your own or interviewing someone, yeah. um, it's really powerful. Yeah. You, you know, you see him saying hello to the community. Hello, my lady. We even managed to ask him a few questions. Welcome, Senator Simon Birmingham, Minister for Education and Training to Urara College. Would you like to share with us why are you visiting Alice Springs? Well thanks Jarrell, it's great to be here and, uh, and I'm visiting Central Australia and Alice Springs in particular uh, to get an understanding of some of the unique educational challenges in rural and remote Australia to um, speak with Indigenous leaders, school leaders and really come to understand uh, how it is that, uh, that things are working well in terms of supporting kids to get a great education here and some of the challenges that still exist to uh, help make sure that children get the best opportunity to, uh, to succeed and how we need to perhaps make some changes in the future to give additional support, additional policies that can help make change. And one of the things I'll be doing later today is, uh, is visiting a program called Connected Beginnings where at the Breitling Primary School uh, we're really partnering with a lot of health and welfare agencies to provide support from birth through to the start of school uh, to hopefully give families and children a flying start in terms of school opportunity. Yesterday you spent some time walking around our campus. Was there an area that caught your attention more so than others? I had a great time yesterday uh, touring the Urara College and seeing some of the uh, really exciting things that are happening here, particularly in terms of vocational education opportunities, uh, uh, seeing uh, some of the boys uh, making their guitars, uh, others uh, working on some of the uh, simulator earth moving equipment and so on, uh, clearly examples of, uh, of a school community uh, that is committed to providing opportunities, uh, not just traditional educational opportunities, but ones that will really equip people to leave here with skills that hopefully help them to get a job and succeed at life. As a full-time boarding school, your IRA students know what it's like to spend time away from family. With all the travel you must do, what is the longest you've stayed away from home? Well, I do spend uh, a lot of time on the road, around 20 weeks a year in Canberra. Uh, and, uh, and every other week uh, spending time uh, travelling to communities like this one. And uh, uh, usually I can get home at least for weekends uh, and, uh, and see my children. Uh, and I've got two little girls aged five and seven, uh, but I absolutely religiously make sure that I ring home every night that I'm away uh, so that I can talk to them, find out about their days and, uh, and maintain 
uh, that connection as a dad uh, because although I'm Australia's Minister for Education yeah. for a few years, uh, I'll be de their dad for, uh, for my lifetime and, uh, uh, and I want to make sure that that's a, a good strong connection and though I miss uh, a lot of their day-to-day uh, -day lives uh, as they grow up, uh, that at least I stay in touch as best I can. And thank you for your time and we hope you have a safe trip back home and that you will get to see your family soon. Thank you very much, my pleasure. Thank you, well done. Cheers. Welcome, Councillor Price. Was there anything that caught your eye at Yara College? Well, yesterday was a great day walking around the campus and, um, you know, I spent a lot of time here when I was a little girl because my mum was a teacher here many, many years ago uh, and she was also a student when the first, in the first year that Urara opened. But um, it's changed a lot since I was a little girl and there's some really wonderful things that I could see going on here. What impressed me, I think, was the, the simulation room where, um, you know, students got to learn how to get their truck driving tickets and those sorts of things with the simulators. I thought that was pretty amazing stuff. I know that I didn't get to, you know, have th those sorts of opportunities when I was a kid. Um, and also, you know, my background is, a apart from being on council, I, once upon a time I had a lot to do with music and performed a lot and um, it was really wonderful to see that there were students creating musical instruments. Um, there seem to be a lot of wonderful things going on here at Urara and a lot of opportunities for you students. I think you're a lucky bunch of kids. Um, yeah, it was really lovely to be here yesterday and, and you all made us feel very welcome. Thank you for your time. Not a problem. <laughs> Anzac Day started with a shared breakfast at Side Eye Dining Hall with staff and students. What Anzac Day is, Lord, and how special it is and how important it is, Lord. Lord, um, we just thank you for this food and we ask you to bless it to our body. Amen. Amen. Then we made our way into chapel for Anzac Day. Worship with Pasta Rob Boyles. Then on the buses into town for the parade. with the walk up to the top of Insect Hill for the service. Our school captain, Shannon Morton, and a couple of our Clontarf students presented Reeves. We shout honour and respect for those that have gone before us to give us the life we now live. We made our way down the hill for morning tea. Then back on the buses to the Telegraph station for a relaxing lunch. Savannah Mulholland and I come from Barlolang. We all from Yurara joined in at the insect service up on Insect Hill in Alice Spring this morning. I felt very sad when I heard the meaning behind Insect Day. A Yurara student here, very happy. When Tara Kelly might pass us in her police cadet uniform. After the insect service, your students, we went to the telegraph station where we had lunch and then kicked the footy around. We had a great day. Aria. Aria. 
Your TV is continue to grow. We are very happy to share that we are now to be shown on the Aboriginal Broadcasting Australian Network. That services down and surrounding area. That's your TV for this week. Click, clack, front and back. Bye. <laughs>